a 30 year old african american man so age is important race is extremely important in this case presents with recent onset headaches blurred vision and dyspnea so these symptoms by the symptoms without reading the case you can say that what exactly they're asking about age is 30 years african american man and the recent onset headaches plus blurred vision plus dyspnea on physical examination he appears very ill and has difficulty concentrating and answering your questions so he is confused and uh, this symptom is also associated with headaches blurred vision so you can say what exactly it is you see cotton wool spots on fundoscopic examination this cotton wool spots is the buzzword for your case and a displaced forceful heartbeat so you should know what are the various causes of displacement of the apical beat that is forceful heartbeat which is also called as a displacement of the apical beat and cotton wool spots on the fundoscopic examination and uh, the blood pressure reading is 190 by 130 it's a too much of bp right yes and immediately you place the uh, patient on IV sodium nitroprusside, which means because it is emergency condition, you are taking him on IV sodium nitroprusside treatment. So this case is about uncontrolled hypertension, very severe hypertensive crisis because your BP is 190 by 30. So it is malignant hypertension. This case is about malignant hypertension so now let us see why it is malignant hypertension so what exactly the case reveals first is the etiology and epidemiology of malignant hypertension this malignant hypertension is mainly seen in the patients where primary or secondary hypertension is not controlled well which means uncontrolled primary or secondary hypertension leads to the development of a malignant hypertensive crisis called as malignant hypertension and it is more common in young that is 30 years of age african american men that's the reason 30 years of age african american men blood pressure is 190 by like approximately 130 or 190 by 100 mainly it will be approximately 190 by 130 because the diastolic pressure in malignant hypertension is approximately greater than 120 millimeters of mercury guys that's what you need to remember so it should be always 190 by 120 uh, in very rare cases you will see 190 by 100 but generally it will be the diastolic pressure would be greater than 120 millimeters of mercury so this is the etiology and epidemiology of the malignant hypertension and if you see pathology Pathology is extremely important over here because arterioles are the ones which are like uh, taking part in the development of disease and the progression of the disease. And arterioles undergoes hyperplastic arteriosclerosis. This is what you need to write in your notes. Hyperplastic arteriosclerosis is the pathology what you can see and it is concentric hyperplastic arteriosclerosis and uh, this concentric hyperplastic arteriosclerosis appears as onion skin thickening of the arterial walls this is very important buzzword onion skin thickening of arterial walls associated with the necrotizing arteriolitis which means there's a necrosis of the vessel wall necrosis of the vessel wall plus inflammation of the vessel wall so because of necrosis plus inflammation of the vessel wall you are calling it as necrotizing vasculitis so this necrotizing vasculitis or necrotizing arteriolitis so again i am repeating there is a hyperplastic arteriosclerosis that is concentric onion skin thickening of the arterial wall which is associated with the necrotizing arteriolitis, which is also called as necrotizing vasculitis. Whenever there is a 
necrosis plus inflammation of the vessel wall remember what type of necrosis which is present in the blood vessels it should be always fibrinoid necrosis so whenever there's a fibrinoid necrosis you need to see that it is fibrinoid deposition of the vessel wall that is arteriolar wall with necrosis and inflammation so it is a fibrinoid necrosis plus inflammation of the vessel wall typically arterioles onion skin thickening hyperplastic arteriosclerosis all these are the buzzwords you need to remember for the malignant hypertension as pathological findings now because of uh, arterioles are typically involved we know that arterioles are called as resistant vessels because of the involvement of the arterioles progressively it can result a pathological condition called as left ventricular hypertrophy it's not just because of involvement of the arterial it's also because of there's a too much hypertension which means there is a pressure hypertrophy of the left ventricle because too much pressure is created and the blood pressure is 190 by 130 so because of too much pressure the left ventricular wall undergo hypertrophy and there is a pressure hypertrophy of the left ventricle and progressively leads to left ventricular failure so what are the complication over here the complication is left ventricular hypertrophy left ventricular failure and progressively what happens is because of the involvement of the kidney which means because of too much pressure in the glomerular capillaries what happens is the glomerular capillaries undergo rupture and that uh, shows as flea bitten kidney in the microscopic examination so flea bitten kidney is also a buzzword for your case the flea bitten kidney is nothing but rupture of the glomerular capillaries in severe hypertensive crisis and the condition is called as malignant nephrosclerosis so malignant nephrosclerosis is due to rupture of glomerular capillaries causes flea bitten kidney is the important uh, complication of malignant hypertension now let us talk about what are the clinical manifestations as we studied that uh, occasional headaches are seen in systemic as well as secondary hypertension so here also the important clinical manifestations in malignant hypertension presence with headache and not only that the extra clinical manifestations what is given in our case the patient is unable to concentrate on your questions right that's what they gave in our case which means altered mental status not only that in the case if you see they also talked about blurred vision and dyspnea so all these are the important manifestations which are seen in malignant hypertension but dyspnea is uh, may not be seen in uh, 90 to 100 percent of the cases it is mainly seen in 30 to 40 percent of the cases but headache is seen in 100 percent of the cases so headache altered mental status because of severe hypertension blurred vision because of the involvement of the arteries of the eye and dyspnea all these are important clinical manifestations of malignant hypertension now if you see the physical examination it shows a displaced forceful cardiac apical beat because there is a why there is a forceful beat which means the force of the myocardium is typically from the apex because of apex of the left ventricle is involved too much there will be a left ventricular hypertrophy and because of the severe left ventricular hypertrophy there is a displacement of the apex so away from its uh, original position that's why the physical examination shows displaced forceful cardiac apex beat and because of the too much pressure in the vascular system as well as in the chambers of the heart and because of the too much contraction of uh, the atrial chambers there will be a presence of s4 so displaced forceful apical beat is a typical presentation in physical examination presence of s4 papillary edema retinal hemorrhages because of the involvement of the retinal arteries and exudates and i already mentioned about uh, diastolic pressures because in malignant hypertension 
the diastolic pressures are usually greater than 120 millimeters of mercury. So this is what is about uh, the clinical manifestations as well as physical examination findings. Next is about the treatment and prognosis. Your immediate goal is to drop the blood pressures, right? Otherwise, the patient will develop severe retinal hemorrhages and fundoscopic examination as well as malignant nephrosclerosis is another severe complication. To prevent all these things, what you need to do is immediately lower his BP by taking him on IV agents, that is, sodium nitroprusside is considered to be the treatment of choice in this particular case. So that's why initial lowering of blood pressure with IV agents are recommended. So this is what is about uh, the treatment and prognosis means it often result in early death because of severe hypertensive crisis. So here, before discussing other case, I want to talk about what is hyaline arteriosclerosis. Already we discussed about hyaline arteriosclerosis in our essential hypertension, which is also called as like primary idiopathic hypertension. And not only that, hyaline arteriosclerosis is also seen in diabetes and involves hyaline thickening of the, uh, not only that uh, proliferative changes which are typically seen in the small arteries and arterioles, especially in the kidney. That's why benign nephrosclerosis may develop, especially in the essential hypertension in long-standing cases, as well as in the malignant hypertensive patients. So this is the case of malignant hypertension. A 